Hello and welcome to this first part video series on upgrading System Platform 2012 and 2012 R2 to System Platform 2014. This particular video will focus on upgrading the Galaxy repository node. This process will be accomplished in four steps beginning with undeploying the entire running Galaxy, then upgrading the GR node itself, in this case with the IDE, then installing new licenses on the GR node, and finally opening the IDE to migrate the Galaxy to a newer version. Please note that you can still do a node-by-node -node upgrade without undeploying the entire Galaxy. Also, in order to connect to the, the new Galaxy repository, you must upgrade at least one IDE node if the IDE is not located on the GR node itself. Now let's begin. Now to demonstrate this upgrade process, we'll be using VMware's ESXi virtualization host server. And first we'll, we'll select our GR node and we'll go into the console full screen. Now, the first thing that we need to do is verify that everything is working. We can connect to the Galaxy. And we've undeployed everything. To undeploy, just simply right click and just simply in uh, on the Galaxy name and select undeploy. For expediency, I have take I've taken the time to undeploy the uh, the entire Galaxy. And you can you can tell by the amber boxes here. The next thing that we verify is that we did indeed take backups of our Galaxy and we did an export of all objects. We have a backup and an export. Now, when we put in the CD-ROM, it'll open up the autoplay dialog box. We then select run setup.exe, or you can simply just uh, navigate to the directory on the C drive or on, on your uh, DVD drive and run the setup program. The first thing that we're going to have to do is install the prerequisites. Just simply uh, verify the prereq that's going to be installed and click on install prereqs. Now depending on uh, the performance of your system, this may take a little while or it can take a long while. Once the prerequisites uh, have been installed, um, it'll let you know and then you just click on next. Then it'll give you an informational box and let you know that the you know the following uh, applications will be updated or upgraded. Then click OK. They give you one more informational message that they recommend that you back up the Galaxy, uh, back up the Galaxy database prior to any type of upgrade, and you click on Next. It'll give you a review of all the options uh, that will be upgraded. Click on Next. It lets us know that the some more prerequisites have been met. We'll click on Next. A final review of the items that will be upgraded. And then we simply click on Upgrade. Again, depending on how fast your system is, this could take a few minutes or it can take a little longer. Once the installation has been successful, just click on uh, Finish. 
it'll do some final cleanup work. And we get the dialog box telling us to reboot. And we simply click on reboot, reboot now. Now once we've successfully rebooted into the system, we'll have to install the new license. We go to Start, All Programs, locate a folder called Invences, locate the License Manager, and then there's an icon for the Invences License Manager. So we click on it. For this demonstration, I'm going to uninstall a, a license that we previously had on the system. And then I'm going to install the new license. So we click on the select button and we navigate to our license. Select it. Click on open. Click on next and we see our license is installed. And then we simply exit the system or exit that utility. And the next thing we do is we open up the IDE. Start all programs. Come down to Wonderware and select Orchestra IDE. It'll bring up the Connect to Galaxy dialog box. And we select our Galaxy and click on Connect. We're going to get an informational message that says our Galaxy is an older version and do we want to migrate? We simply say yes. And that will begin the migration process. Now depending on uh, how fast your system is, depending on how many objects you have in your Galaxy, this can take a little while or it can take a long while. Once the migration has completed successfully, you'll get the indication in the dialog box. We click close. And it'll continue the process of connecting to the galaxy. Once we've connected to the galaxy, you can now redeploy your application or redeploy your galaxy and continue. Thanks for watching.